All right. All right, guys. That is my sixth 10-minute timer. I have just failed. This has now become a, a whipped-by video. <laughs> okay, guys. This is one of several locks from David in Boise, Idaho. Um, this is a... Ten, actually, he calls this the sequel. He sent one of these in earlier. The Stanley sequel. And here's the key. I got nothing from this thing. And, you know, this sequel, this second batch of locks, he sent me several. I got a couple open, but not after a horrible, horrible fight. And a couple of them did this. I don't have a key for this one. Uh, but this is clearly I'm caught up in a trap. I got it what I thought was picked. Now, the only way to get him open is, of course, to disassemble him. On this guy, I don't know if he has trap pins or not, because I never got so much as a false set after an hour's worth of picking. We have, you guys have seen these before, a shield to prevent drilling and a Yale-style keyway. So you got to go around that edge. I had a little trouble with that, but I ended up using the Tron, and it, it seems to, well, obviously it didn't work, but it seems to get around the curve a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and give up on this guy. Um, let's go ahead and open him up. Here's the key. Let me move all this stuff out of the way. And... Gosh, I hate giving up. I hate quitting. But I got several other locks waiting in the queue. And if you guys can take an hour's worth of picking and not get in, then you definitely got me whipped. I don't know if that's a note or if it's just designed to disguise the pins. Okay. I would expect it to say, nah, 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 gotcha. But, <laughs> well, that's kind of what I would hope to see. Um, I think that's just part of the tape. All right. Excellent bidding. It's exactly what I was expecting to see, but I, I wouldn't have been able to predict it since I didn't get any sets or anything on this guy. Let's go ahead and pop him. Let me turn off my... Hold on a sec. Sorry, guys. All right, let's pop him open. Make sure this works. I hope this doesn't work. But, of course, it does. It works perfectly. No resistance, no hanging up. I didn't have to jiggle it at all. Works perfectly. Ah, now let's figure out how we got to get this guy open. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. I can do this. All right, let's get the pin tray. See if there's anything else in there. No, he should come out. There's a ball bearing. Get that spring out of there. Let's leave that spring. Oh man, when you know it, it's another Allen wrench, or some Allen screw of some kind. Let's see if this is right. Oh, lucky Bill, you are so lucky. It is a two millimeter. That was just barely threaded in there. Okay, there's an anti-bypass. There's our shield. We don't need that stuff. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need all the guts. This we do need. Okay. Oh, come here, where's that pick? Can you tell I don't gut these guys every day? <laughs> All right, so far so good. You know, I've gotten this far. I hate to screw up. So what I'm going to do is slide a shim in there, just in case. I have no idea what's in here, guys. Really, I have no idea. It could be anything. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't do that. 
just in case there's some T-pins and some trap pins. There we go. Awesomeness. That key is a little sticky probably because that piece of black tape is still in the groove, but it does work perfectly. I'm starting to see a lot of undercuts and threads. Beautiful, beautiful work. Let's pull these pins out and take a look. That is very precise. Those undercuts, just very nice. All right, we have serrated. We have a spool. We have a spool. 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 And number six is kind of serrated. All right, let's take a closer look. This really is very nicely done. Uh, chamber number one and two are very deep, very sharp undercuts and well polished. I don't know if that's showing up on the camera. No gouging around. He didn't slip when he did that. And then three and four are both very sharp threads. And then number four, again, very deep undercut and then threaded on number six. Let's flip it over, make sure. Got everything identical on this side. So it's undercut, so he didn't care which way I tried to pick it. I could only pick it one way, but he's hedging his bets. Couldn't have couldn't have gone counterclockwise either. Very, very nice work. I don't feel too bad. I still feel bad. An hour of my time, man. <laughs> but I'm lucky to have that time, having survived a car wreck the other day. All right, here we go. Oh, look at there, Asa. I definitely don't feel bad. And that was in an undercut chamber. And looking down in there, I think you can see some threads. We'll take a closer look later. But threads on the top, undercuts on the bottom with the Asa spring and a serrated key pin. Nasty. All right, number two again, Asa. Another Asa high security steel pin. That one on the bottom, we had an undercut. And on the top, we had, come out of there. Again, threaded. I don't feel bad, guys. I think he knew what he was doing. And again, we got a homemade serrated. Very, come on, baby. Focus for me. Very sharp edges. Very nice. All polished. And a steel spring. Different from all, all three springs so far are different. Okay, number four. We have spool, double spool. And on the bottom, on number four, we had threaded. And on the top, we have, there he is, a different spring. Very small. And, again, I'm curious. I got to do this on the fly. I just can't stand it. All threaded. Also threaded. Everything's threaded so far. All right, let's take a look from the back. So we get some light on the subject. All right, number six. It is a commercial serrated. And looks like a different spring. He didn't want to come out of there. It looks like a double spring, guys. Yep, double spring on number six. And the last one. It is another one of these Asa Steel High Security Pins. And a different spring. So all six springs were different. There's my shim. Okay, so what do we got here, guys? Okay, starting from the front. So one, two, three, four... And five were all threaded. Number six is the only one that was stock. So let's line these up. Remember, number six is the only one that's stock. On the top, we have undercuts and then threaded on top. Number three and four, threaded on the bottom and threaded on top. Number five, undercut on both sides, threaded on top. Number six, threaded on the core and standard no mods on the top. I don't feel bad at all it was not a waste of my time he whipped me that's all i can tell you guys so this is one of several locks from david in boise idaho obviously put an awful lot of work into this thing just super these guys are really difficult they they're very sharp edges and if there's anything threaded in there you can be sure that those asa high security pins are going to grab 
This one's very much the same. Very sharp edges on that homemade serrated one next to my thumb there. And then these commercials are not that difficult because the edges are not so sharp. You can see that he, was, he put a lot of thought into this. A lot of these uh, spools were designed to catch those undercuts. So really nasty design. And I, don't, I really don't feel at all bad about being whipped by this lock. Anyway, fellas, appreciate your time. Stay safe, stay legal. David, awesome Stanley sequel, I got to say. Thanks.